hey cousins, hey cousins. Y'all know I'll be going from show to show. Shout out, I'll be a little tired to the party. All right, cousins. Um, let me put the link. Oh, did I send it? Did I text it to myself? I don't think I did. All right, I have to share the link. <laughs> let me share the link, y'all, so y'all can have the link. In the meantime, cousins, let me know where you're watching from. Shout out your city, your location, all of that. Upcoming, oh, okay. Invite guests. All right, let me send. Y'all shout out Texas. Is in, that seems like Chicago's in the building. I forgot to do, to send myself the link. All right, St. Louis, Orlando, Boston, Houston, Kansas City, Chicago, Ohio. Okay. I see we popping. We is popping. All right. Okay. Okay, I put in the um the link in the YouTube chat. Make sure you guys um subscribe to this page. Subscribe and like the video. Did it go? Okay. So the link to join the show is in the YouTube comment section now. All right. Now I'm going to put it on the Facebook comment section. Key, continue to shout out where y'all watching us from. Mississippi's in the building. Callie's in the building. Callie's in the building. Orlando. All right. Now the link to join as a guest is on the New York, Bermuda, Norfolk, Virginia, New Jersey, Houston, India, Las Vegas. Philly, Poland, Toronto. All right. Um, to join. So you guys have the link now. The link, if you want to be a guest, is pinned in the comment section. Okay? Pinned in the comment section. Pinned comment. Okay. All right. All right. Let's start. New York, Connecticut, my hometown state, Miami, um, Hudsonville, Alabama. No, I never heard of that that until the show. All right, let's go. 21 and older, have good Wi-Fi, have good light. No videos comes out. Kendra G, that's I. Not reliable forever you meet. Whoever you meet is on you. Do your own research before you meet someone. I think I saw China, Seattle, um, Buffalo, New York. Let's start. Okay. Breeze. Well, let's see. Brittany. Brittany, show off the room, Brittany, so I can see it's you. Oh, show off the room, Brittany. Go around the full room. Okay. Oh, I got to set the layup right. Uh. Oh. Okay. All right. You ready? Yes. I can't believe you picked me. <laughs> oh, your hair looks like it's oh. done. It's fluffy. The curls <laughs> is laying. Okay. Where you calling us? Your name is Brittany. Where you calling us from, honey? Um, I'm calling from the Philadelphia area. Philadelphia area. How old are you? I'm 38. 38. What do you do for a living? I am a nurse. A nurse? Do you have any children? I do. I have two daughters, um, 16 and 11. I'm so nervous, 11. Kendra. I'm so sorry. I'm so nervous. So nervous. All right. We got nurse, Brittany, two daughters, uh, 16 and 11, both by the same man? Um, two different men. Two men. Have you ever been married? No. No. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Gemini, June 1st. June 1st. So we got nurse, Brittany, in the Philadelphia area, 38, Gemini. Mom and two daughters, by two men, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, I am looking for a man who um, desires to be married. Um, I desire to be married. Um, I'm looking for a God-fearing man. Um, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. I think if you're a God-fearing man, uh, there's a lot of things that fall under that umbrella. Okay. <laughs> What's the question? All right. She's looking for a husband. Team nurse, number one trusted profession. 
you're beautiful. Black educated baddie. So I guess she might be a nurse too. She's saying team nurse. Okay. So overall, you want a husband. That's what I got. Yes. Okay. What are your deal breakers besides somebody who ain't trying to wipe you up, child? <laughs> um, any form of homosexuality, past, present, or future. Um, I don't have anything against men who are bisexual or were promiscuous in that area. Um, that's an absolute deal breaker for me. And um, obviously someone who's not single. I hate that I have to say that, but if you are married or you have a girlfriend or there's a woman that thinks she's in a relationship with you, um, anything like that, that's a deal breaker for me. Um, I think everything else is kind of uh, situational. Like it, it depends. Okay. Uh, should he look a certain way? Um, no, he should just look like he loves himself. So takes Looks care of like himself. He loves well, himself. yeah, like well groomed. Um, takes care of his body. Uh, you know, smells good. Good hygiene. Um, just like he takes care of himself. Like you love yourself. So if you think so, a person out of shape doesn't love themselves. Um. Well, I wouldn't say that, you know, there's all sort of medical conditions and things like that that could cause obesity. So um, I can't, I can't say that, but, um, you know, like people can still be put together and overweight and look like they care about themselves. I, okay, I see I, some I, sharp I, overweight people. <laughs> she said she sees some sharp overweight people. Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. Um, I have pajamas on and I think they're kind of see-through, but um, I'm going to just stand up. I'm going to just stand up anyway. They're kind of okay. like on the lighter side. They're kind of loose, but. Okay. Looks like you have a good shape. Thank you. Okay. I forgot. I skipped a question. Does the guy have to make a certain amount of money? Um, yes, he does. Um. I don't have a number. Um, I've I've dated men who make well over a hundred K and they were burdened with debt and they had poor children and child support obligations. Um, I've met people who've made seventy five thousand a year and they were debt free and they managed their money. Um, I'm just going to say um, be be stable. Be stable and um be financially literate. Could a guy that made 50K have a chance with you? Um, maybe 50K and childless. I feel like the okay. number goes up with the amount of responsibility. So 50K with zero kids, it's pretty much like 100K with, with two kids. Um, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, the family size absolutely matters. So 100K okay. for a single man is not 100K for a man with three children. <laughs> okay, we got you. All right, so we did the Kendra Cam. When was your last relationship? Um, 2018. 2018. You don't mm -hmm. have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I'm, I'm going to decline that question. <laughs> okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Um, my first flaw would be, um, sometimes I have an unwillingness to compromise. Um, like if I feel strongly about something, like there's really no convincing me otherwise. Um, I think that I am not vulnerable. Um, I mean, some form of vulnerability is a good thing, but mine is like a little extreme. Like I'm have a very hard time connecting with people and falling for people and you know so i think that that's a flaw i think i've let i've let a lot of um great men like slip through my hands from just not being vulnerable um my third flaw is um i'm very like uh 
organized with my time, like time management. So if something um, throws like a curveball in my day or my schedule, it kind of makes me a little crazy. <laughs> okay. I want to jump in. We got a couple of pay questions. Darnell Jones said, Philly women are winning. You are a gorgeous queen, uptown, mops, airy, Philly native right here. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. Um, and then we have Antoine Crown said, are your children's fathers active in their lives? Yes, they are. I have a good co-parenting relationship. Okay, okay, fair enough. All right, this is Nurse Brittany. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I am God-fearing. I am um, resilient. I'm loyal. Um, I, I think that that's just pretty much sums it up, you know, with the God-fearing falling under um, just a large umbrella. Um, <laughs> I don't really have a whole lot to say. I, I just, uh, you know, being loyal and God fearing and resilient is, um, I think that's what it takes for a marriage just to withstand the tough times and, and, and get through it. So. Okay. Could the guy have kids already? Um, yes, he can have kids, not little kids. I'm out of the strapping car seats and phase and all of that. And I, no. That's been <laughs> lately on my show. Women don't, men, don't want men with younger children. Yeah. No, no okay. younger kids, but children is fine. Do you want more ch um, children yourself? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> so no more kids. So have your kids already. Yep. Okay. Someone, Crystal A, she paid money to say, Hi, pretty lady, but you clicked on the link with see-through pajamas on, but you want God fearing. Um, I don't have anything to say to that. I don't have anything to say to that. Um, I'm still an amazing woman. God knows my heart. Um, I'm not that kind of woman, so I don't, I don't have anything to say to that. <laughs> All right, no response given. Okay, fair enough. All right, well, let's focus on the topic at hand. You're 38. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I would say 35 to 50. And real quick, I don't think I don't think your pajamas is really that see-through. At least not for me. I just didn't know if the the ring light I had on would just kind of hit it. It's kind of like a light pastel color. So sometimes when light hits white or light pastel, it can. Right cause it to look see-through so oh, okay all right um what's the age range you want to date um 35 to 50 35 to 50 and um you don't want any more children so let's do it nurse Brittany, she's a mom of two she wants to get married this is about marriage over here philadelphia 38 gemini money matters but you said depending on the responsibilities yes so like you can't make 50k and have a $2200 a month G note G wagon lease payment like none none of that nonsense <laughs> like it it just depends on how you how you manage the money for sure okay. Ooh, shall y'all going y'all paying for some harsh comments tonight this is not towards you it's towards a woman that says something to you six figure pookie said don't listen to crystal she is likely an angry fullback <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Uh, I don't have anything to say okay. to that either. Still got no response. Brittany Classy, one thing I will say, she's not feeding into it. So that, that shows class. All right, how could the guy reach out to you, honey? Um, my Instagram, I actually was just watching your Instagram. You're so beautiful. <laughs> um, my Instagram is uh, Miss Brittany Crystal underscore. So it's MS. B R I T T A N Y C R Y S T A L underscore. And my Facebook is just my name, Brittany Johnson. Brittany Johnson. All right, well, you keep me posted how it goes, honey. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, bye baby. <laughs> bye. Okay, okay. Look, look, y'all yeah, was coming with it. Thailand, let's try to. Is that a guy? Thailand, are you a guy? 
No? Okay, I'll come back. I want to try to get a guy. Let's see. Is there any guys? No? Ashley's not a guy either. Okay, we have a lot of people. Um, wait, what's she doing? I'm about to be nosy. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> what you do? I saw you screaming at somebody. My, It's my friend. I'm sorry. It's my friend. We didn't. We were literally in the car, and I was like, I would never get on here. I was like, I would never get on here. It's like four thousand people on here. I would never get on here. And this is my first time asking to be on here. I'm on here. Look, she gave me extra well, likes. Actually, six thousand is sixty one hundred when you add the Facebook numbers, and then when people watch it, it'll be it'll be even more than that. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey. What's your name, honey? I'm Ashley. Ashley, oh yeah, they, they tell me I do that all the time too. Ashley, what's the name, Ashley? Ashley, <laughs> where you yes. Where are you calling us from? Um, Mobile, Alabama. Alabama, how old are you? I'm 32. 32, what you do for a living? I work in finance. Finance, do you have any kids? No kids. No kids. And what's, are you, what's your zodiac? What's your zodiac? I'm an Aries. April 19th. Say again. Say again. Uh, Aries. Aries. All right. So we got Ashley, Alabama, 32 Aries, works in finance, no kids. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, I'm looking for a husband that <laughs> is <laughs> for first. You the and third foremost, girl tonight. Be. No, you might be the fourth lady. I'm a, I, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Hold on. I didn't mean to cut you off, but that is, it is husband night. I have never had more shows in one night with women starting off. Women want, it's husband season. It seemed like, I think ladies are tired and they just want their husband. Okay. So husband, I cut you right. off. So start from the beginning. What kind of man you Oh, no, you're about? fine. No, you're fine. No, it's, it's because it's, it's becoming a lot of BS out there. Like, I'm just, I'm ready for someone to be just as serious as me and we can build on each other. So I'm looking for a man that um, is serious for one, somebody that will be motivated by like just naturally motivated. Can you stop? <laughs> She's trying to help. Somebody that's just naturally motivated to be better. Um, tall, handsome, God-fearing, caring, understanding, Financially stable. Um, that's the basics. Yeah. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Deal breakers are I do not want to be with somebody that has kids already. Um, preferably not married before. Um, I don't really like smokers. Socially drinkers are okay. Um, <laughs> um, also... Someone that doesn't know where to have a line between like your family and like not letting your family get into our relationship. That's a big thing. And um, what's my deal breakers? What else? You said a lot there, friend. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. What about look? Should he look a certain way? I prefer a man to be, I'm five nine. I'm 5'9", and I'm, I have my heels on now. I'm, like, 6 feet tall, like 5'11". So I will refer a man that's at least 6 feet tall, um, tall, dark, and handsome. But I'm not against, you know, any other shade. Um, I prefer black men. Um, but I'm willing, I'm willing to try different things. Okay. Um, what about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? So... <laughs> So with money, I don't want to really put a dollar amount on it because especially what area you live in is really going to be based off of like how much money you need to make to be successful or like just live day to day. You live in Alabama. Um, yeah, I live in Alabama. So a decent, a decent like amount would be in this area, you need to make at least about 65 to 70 K to live comfortable. I thought Alabama so, was cheap. <laughs> Certain I thought you could make it off of 30K by a man. Oh, 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 oh
we not picking cotton out here no more. Like, no. <laughs> now, you, I thought you could, with a good 40K Alabama, I thought you could get a mansion. No. 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 Mm -mm. no. So, okay. this, you know, like 65, 70K, and we can build off that. That's what I'm saying when a man that's naturally motivated. I, yeah, I don't, you come in making 65K in two years, you make okay, 85K. Okay, but I got to answer this. This is my boyfriend. One second, one second. Oh, she got anything. She said, yeah, she got a man. Her boyfriend, so you take notes. Thank you. You got a man. You got to say hello. You got to stop for your man. Period. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm taking notes, yeah. Because I've been like, take notes. You got to, you got to hang, like, stop. <laughs> <I can't wait. laughs> Period. Girl. Uh -huh. No, you know what? I ain't going to look at these comments. <laughs> <laughs> I blame this on you. I do. I hit my friend up. She's single, ready to mingle. <laughs> hit my friends. I'm sick of you. <laughs> Look, but she by coastal. She said Alabama, but Florida do too. I know that okay. was so rude. I know it was so no. rude. <laughs> My friend told me she said, take no. I apologize. I, I Y'all <laughs> said, no, we have, we, yes. Um, I had an answer. I had an answer because I just okay. had an answer. <laughs> but um, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Yeah. No, you're now, fine. What was the last thing I asked you? In the playback, I'm going to make you a highlight and I'll cut that part out. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was the last question I asked you? <laughs> we were talking about we were talking about um about money making yes, a certain amount. Okay. Oh yeah, and I said you don't gotta make that much. Right. Yeah, it's something also, that we can build up. Well, Will, Will D said that's cap. I live in Alabama. What part of Alabama are you living in? I don't know. Someone said I'm about to go move to Alabama, I guess. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. Come on down. It's good. <laughs> okay, so the money is 60k and up. Just, right. let's, say, let's say about 65 because my goal within two years is to make six figures at least that's my goal and i'm working on it every day okay 65 and k okay 65 all right let's do the kids you can oh friend you oh. had to do that for me we're in a parking lot <laughs> <laughs> oh you look like you have a good shape okay Wait, the light is not on your side. You need to get better light. She said I got to get better lighting. Come okay. here, my friend. Ooh, the wind just hit you. God just blessed you with the hair blowing. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Your light is throwing it off. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> you look good. You got that. The God of the, the wind gods came and blessed you. <laughs> okay, oh, this life so would you date a guy with kids? No, ma'am. I had to be honest with myself. I did it. I have tried it several times and it didn't work out. And I have to be honest with myself at this point that it's, it's okay. not going to work out. So no kids? No. All right. So no kids, no kids. All right. So Ashley, Alabama, what's the age range you would date? Um, 30 to 40. 30 to 40. 30 to 40. Okay. You want kids, I'm assuming yourself, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We got a couple of paid questions. Let's see. Um, Darnell Jones, okay. So black is beautiful. It comes in all different shades. Do you think your preference of your preference of stopping you from finding another blessing? You said black men only? No, I'm open to other races. I've dated outside of my race. Oh, she's open other races. Okay. <laughs> Antoine Crown said, would you relocate? If it's serious, if it's something that's serious, we had to be getting engaged or married because my family is down here. I used to live away from my family and I know how that is. But no, if it's if it's something serious, I would definitely relocate. Okay. This one's to me. We're going to go back to you. Dr. G said, I respect what you just did for your man in public. 
No, my man is everything. Like, and he's my partner in life. So I got to answer. Uh -huh. I don't do it all the time, but I had to answer because we he's in the middle of doing something I'm, I'm doing with him. All right. But enough of that. All right. Back to you. Okay. Oh, someone else has the same thing? He spent $100. No, that was $50. Okay, we got a $100 question for you. Um, oh, no, this is to me. Kendra, I'm proud of you. Okay, back to you. Back to you. <laughs> I want to stay focused. All right, Ashley, when was your last relationship? When was it? Like a year and a half ago? Yeah. A series one? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was somewhere serious. Ooh, he had your it. Yeah, he had your friend said you was with somebody <laughs> last night. Oh no, no. She was she was Why playing, like was it serious? <laughs> she was like, was it serious though? It was serious, but I couldn't take it too serious because I was trying to get over the fact that he had a child. I was trying to try something different, but I couldn't get how over long, it. How long was the child? The child was like a year old, so that really Oh, that's why. Yeah. So was mm -hmm. it the child or the relationship he had to have with the child's mother still? The child's mother, yeah. That's yeah. what it was. A year old, if, listen, and I, I mean, again, we have, I had a woman up here who had an eight-month-old baby, and she said it's over. But that is a soft, like, a year, and they still got to deal with each other. And if somebody still wants somebody, that's a hard dynamic. Because if she still wants him... And he right. has to be a good father. You know, he got to show up. The baby's young. Or if he still want her, he might, you know, I think that, yeah, that could. Now, would you date a man with an older child? I mean, you have no kids, so it's right for you to say no. I can do older. No, I can't. You can do older. No, I, I can't. Somebody my nuclear age who don't really care, who ain't never there. No. No, oh, okay. listen, you have no kids. I'm not trying to sway you. But I do Oh, no, think my friend was talking to me. My friend was talking to me. She was like, "Yeah, you can do an older kid." <laughs> like, um, maybe, maybe so, you know. But that's if a guy is older. He's, you know, like I said, preferably a man that's not been married before. But if you've been married and you had a child, and they are older, or you know, in the, their last couple years of high school in college, okay, that's fine. I'll play step mama. <laughs> <laughs> what is the age range you would date, Ashley? You're 32. Uh, 30 to 40. 30 to 40. Okay. Uh oh, this one is for your friend, Ashley. Ah! <laughs> Kelly Rowe. <laughs> Kelly Rowe said her friends sound like an attention seeker and hater. No, 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 no. No, She's not, no. We, I'm just making sure my friend be honest with y'all and herself. Never, never. No, okay. no, not at all. Me and my friend, we've been friends for like two decades. She knows everything about me, but don't tell everybody about me. No. <laughs> she knows everything about me. She's really had my back. She really does. And she is the only one that can take um, Ashley. She, <laughs> <laughs> the real, the, the Ashley that she's wrong with me though. That's another thing. She's seen me okay. be really mean into the softer. I'm trying to get my soft hair area now, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she's pushing, yeah, she's pushing me to get there. Okay. All right. Let's keep doing. So when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I'd rather not. You'd rather not say? Yeah, I'd rather not say. Three flaws you have to work on. Hey. Three flaws I have to work on. I'm impatient. Um, I can be. Um, I can be too independent sometimes. I hate to say that, but I'm. I've been on my own since I was 20. Not saying my pa my family hasn't helped me. My family has helped me a lot, but I've lived on my own since I was like 19, 20. I always had to do. I always had to get it for myself. All my bills were paid by me, only me. Never wanted to ask anybody for anything. But that's not really how a relationship works. Like I say, if I need something done, I shouldn't I shouldn't feel weird asking you. So that's something I need to work on, um, being open to people helping me. Um, so impatient, open to people helping me, and I guess demanding a little bit sometimes. But that comes from men saying, oh, your standards are too high. So they're like... You want me to 
do this and this and this. you want me to open your car door i had a guy that literally was like you want me to open your car door every single time i said yes and he was upset and we literally we didn't make it because that's silly we didn't make it because of that so and he was old <laughs> that is a good conversation because, you know, I think, I get it. I get it. But are there ever, listen, I get the gesture. I get the gesture. Um, I, I mean, listen, if it's, if it's your deal breaker, I respect it. I respect it. Oh, not a but deal breaker. It wasn't a deal breaker? No, it wasn't a deal breaker. It was just that he would get You just said you guys woke up because of it. Well, because he just, he said my standards were too high. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to really go out on dates he didn't want to really spend money he was like i'm trying to save money then why are you dating we can do things we can have dates that are not expensive <clears throat> be creative about it <clears throat> that's all i ask so i'm not okay. going to sleep in the house with you all day okay fair enough all right did i ask you why would a guy be lucky to be with you mm. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> i believe a guy would be lucky to be with me because I'm going to be elevating myself. So I was gonna, it's going to make him want to elevate himself also at the same time. We're gonna have each other's back. Um, I'm gonna keep you motivated and going and I'll pick up your phone call when I'm on live. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure, like, like for real, um, I'm a loving, caring, giving person. And I'm ready to give somebody my all. I haven't been, a, I haven't had a chance to do that because I don't feel like I've met anybody that deserves my all. <clears throat> I've tried to make things work, but I'm a loving person. I'm here to, to meet my soulmate one day and yeah. Okay. Well, let's do it. Yeah. All right. We got <laughs> Ashley, Alabama, 32 Aries, finance, no kids, strong guy with no kids. Does he have to be in Alabama? No, not necessarily, but no men from over overseas, out the country. Um, not at all. Um, so no men from out the country. As long as they're like in the panhandle area, like I said, I'm willing to relocate. I'm not really big on long distance relationships, but you know what? If we do have a long distance relationship, you have to be very, very consistent. Cause yeah, I've tried that too. You tried what? I tried a long distance relationship before. It's just that didn't work. And what was your mm -hmm. age range again? I don't think I wrote it down, or maybe I didn't ask. 30, 30 to 40. 30 to 40. All right. All right. So we got Ashley, Alabama, 32 Aries Finance. No kids, 30 to 40. How can the guy reach out to you? The moment has come. <laughs> so you can reach out to me on uh, Instagram. It's tipping underscore in my heels with a z tipping so t underscore in my heels yeah tipping in my heels so t i p i n underscore in my heels with a z with a z okay tipping in my heels underscore with a z all right but oh you're showing oh you're showing it to us <laughs> there you go all right baby will you keep me posted how it goes all right, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye, boo. Um. I moved myself from the <laughs> I moved myself from the show. Okay, I think I'm a little discombobulated. Um, I've been trying to keep, you know, I love my man so much. I feel so blessed. I have such a great, I have a great man. Tomorrow is Oscars in California. I'm not going to the Oscars. I'm not on the Oscar list. But my man set up this whole like photo shoot for me and all this stuff I'm doing. So it's like I still will be getting glimpsed out tomorrow, even though I'm not going to the Oscars. So I just, I just feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. Um, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Oh, y'all didn't like her friend? I, one JC said, I can't stand backseat drivers, meaning friends. 
They take over the interview. We hear the friend more than the lady looking for a man. I think her friend was supportive, no? Um, you sound like you want a traditional man, but you're not a traditional woman. What was wrong? She don't have, what was not traditional about her? I gotta go back and listen to it again. All right, let's try to get a man this time. Um, oh, y'all wave it to me, child. Okay, I think I have all women. Paka, Paka, Angie, show the whole room. Um, and then I'm, no, I need to get Thailand. Thailand, show the room. Let me get Thailand because I saw her earlier and I almost got her. Let me get her. Hello? What's up? How you doing? Yes. What's your name, Hello. baby? How are yeah. you? Pronounced it nice. Yeah. Right way, Thailand Swan. Yep, that's my name. Did I say it right? <laughs> yes. Thailand Swan. Where are you calling me from? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, what's going on? Why are you um you like you, Baltimore, Maryland? Uh, what do you do for a living? Um, right now I'm a forklift driver, and I um I'm teaching myself the stock market so I can uh be an avid day trader. You know, I'm still in the beginning stages. You feel me? Okay, so we got Thailand, Baltimore, Maryland. How old are you, love? Twenty four. 24. Okay, 24. All right, yeah. you have any kids? No. Uh -uh. No kids. No kids. Okay. No kids. And so you, what do you want to write down for your job? A forklift driver. That's what I do right okay. now. Forklift yep. driver. Okay, forklift driver. Okay. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. A cancer. So we got mm -hmm. Thailand, Baltimore, forklift driver. Cancer, no kids. Who are you looking for tonight, girl? I'm looking for a woman. Um, okay, let's get uh, right to it. Yeah. Um, well, let you go ask your questions. I don't even know. No, I'm this is, yeah, this is the time. Who are you looking <laughs> for? You break it down to us. Um, I prefer like a little bit older than me, mostly like in the early 30s maybe late 20s. I don't even mind like going up to like, the oldest I do is like 40. Somebody that is done with like, you know how young people be like, I gotta live my life. I wanna do this, uh, like, I don't know. You don't gotta be outside in the streets running around all day. I like to go out though. I'm not gonna act like I'll, I'll be in the house all the time. I'm definitely an outside person. Um, So just someone that has their head on more straight, they have they got goals. Like that's a big thing for real. A lot of people don't have goals. They don't really want to elevate in life. They they're comfortable with staying in like certain spots. I can't get with that. Um, Let me ask you this: Should she be? Uh, you want her to be a lesbian? Could she be bisexual? Oh yeah, that don't matter to me as long as you're not like you feel me out here. Like I don't. I've dated a lot of different type of women. Like especially women at work in like the sex world so i'm i'm more of an open person you feel me so i'm i i, I accept a lot of things i ain't gonna hold you like i'm very accepting <laughs> so it's, it's more about how you treat me for real and our relationship personally because you know everybody has to go into the world and be their own person so okay so what are your deal breakers oh uh, drugs um I smoke and I drink, so that's fine. But just don't be, I don't want no one that's popping no perks, drinking, sipping. I live in Baltimore, so this is like you get a lot of crazy women out here that's like into being in the streets. From like, y'all see Christian Rock? That's who we got to represent us for Baltimore and, and stuff like that. So I don't want no girl that's like drinking every night. Like, well, I typically like women that's more calmer. Like they can get active though, you feel me? But um, what was the question? <laughs> like I feel like it. Yeah, drill breaker. Oh yeah, drugs. Um, hella kids and hella baby daddies. Hell no, I don't. I prefer if you got kids. I prefer the the baby daddy to even be cool. Like y'all already have some type of arrangement. You feel me? Or like he just not even in your life. I don't got time for all that back and forth shit. I don't like that. Excuse my language. And then um what else is a deal breaker? 
somebody that's un very unintelligent, like just ignorant, like don't care about advancing themselves. Like that's pretty much it. Like I don't want to say too many things and sound like a picky ass person because I'm not picky, but I I like genuine smart women that got goals. Like I just I was raised by my grandma, so I like like people that's more head strong and you know like don't be letting people easily influence you and stuff like just don't be weak just be strong and stand in your power that's my biggest thing for real so okay all right so does she have to look a certain way uh yeah i prefer dark skin and brown skin uh I like them. Uh, I don't really like nothing too skinny. You feel me? So at least weigh like one fifty, kind of light. But I'll say like one fifty is the lightest. But probably I prefer like the two hundred, like two fifty range. Like you feel me? I like them thick. I ain't gonna lose you. I do, but not like BBW. All oh, extra. If you a BBW, you gotta have it in the right places. Like don't just be big and sloppy. Like <laughs> like. Like, I like thicker, but just not too skinny. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about money? Does she gotta make a certain amount of money? Mm. At least make like you gotta at least make fifty to sixty at the minimum for her. Like nothing less than that. Nothing less than that because uh, I I definitely be messing with some go getters for real. So I don't think I can settle with nobody that's doing less than that. Especially the type of, the older women I like. I don't, you feel me? I feel like you should be at that that age where you make that enough money. That's enough money for me. So what was the minimum? 50, 50, 55. I'll say that. Yeah. 55, okay. Oh, should she be in Baltimore? No, no. I'm actually cool with traveling. I like to travel, you feel me? I have no problem catching a plane. Like, that's not shit for real, like. So okay, let's do the kids or cam. Okay, okay. Let me. Damn, the light kind of go way up here. What's that noise? Oh, all right, we see you, boo. Okay, <laughs> all right, you ready for it? Yeah. So, sorry, right, man. When was your last relationship? Last year, last year around this time. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Like two months ago, probably. Two months ago. Okay. Yeah. Um, why? What are three flaws we have to work on? Okay. Let's see. Um, I'll say. I know I definitely. Mm, I think I need more patience. That's one. You know what I'm saying? More patience. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get this two fixed too. I always say that's number two. So don't don't well, do too see, much. I, I didn't know what, oh, it's a missing tooth. No, it's crack. I had gotten into oh, a crack uh, tooth. Okay. Altercation. But um, what else? I don't know. I love hard. Like that's probably my biggest flaw. So I would be trying not to love so hard and just chill out for real. But that's probably my biggest flaw right there. Like I'm a I got a big heart. So like yeah, that's it. <laughs> so like, when was the last up. person you felt with? Did you tell me? Two months ago. That was uh, about two months. So the people that ask me, because someone said Kendra doesn't ask, is that person an option anymore? I ask it when it's within a month. Usually within a month, I ask, is that person an option? Yeah, so no, that person is never an option as far as a relationship, at least. But um, that that was that was just somebody I was messing with, for real. That's not, no, nothing crazy. Ooh, <laughs> All right, yeah. so why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Oh, well, I'm definitely uh, loyal, you feel me? I'm very goal-oriented. Um, I know where I'm going for sure. You feel me? I can say that 100%. Um, I'm a protector. I love my family. So 
Like I'm big on family, friends. Like I'm a genuine person. That's like really much all I can say for it. So, and I love your show, by the way. Like I've been watching you for a minute. <laughs> like you don't even know Thank how hype you. I be on here Thank for you. real. Like <laughs> you like, got good energy. So what was the age range you would date? You're 24. Oh, mm, all right. I'll say you come across more, more mature than 24. Thank you. That's probably why I like older women. Like, uh, I what wanna, age range you want to date? I want to say my age, but it would be too much. So I'm gonna say 26 and up. That's it. 26 and up. Okay. Like the oldest I dated was 40. So like I'm I'm open. You feel me? Like that's my mom's age. <laughs> you want to date somebody your mom's age? I'm saying I have. <laughs> like I have. Like I'm open. It depends on the person. Like Shorty was looked young for real, so I didn't even expect her to be that old. But she just happened to be. Like you feel me? So yeah, I'm open. All right. Well, how does your mom <laughs> feel about you dating somebody her age? She's she's an open person just like me. She's pretty too. Like I was made out of love for real. So you know what I'm saying? Like she she. Huh? Okay, well, let's do it. We got Thailand, Baltimore. Uh, she's a Fort Lift driver, no kids. 24 mm -hmm. is a cancer. Um, she is women only, women only. How could the woman yeah. reach out to you? Um, my Instagram is uh, is X Master <laughs> M A S T E R X Lynn X, and then my Facebook is Thailand Swan, like you see right here. You feel me? That's that's the best couple of ways. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, you keep me posted how it goes, boo. Uh, I definitely will. Okay. It was nice meeting you on online. Maybe one day I get to see you in real life. Maybe yeah. one day we'll see me and each other in real life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye, baby girl. All right. <laughs> Bye, boo. A um, couple things. Um, to Orna, she sent $100 that Kendra, I'm proud of you. This was around the time when I think my uh, boyfriend had called, so I thought she was talking about that. But I was I was rushing it because I wanted to kind of get the focus back on the caller. But thank you so much for sending a hundred dollar um, super chat to Arona. I hope I'm saying it right, to Arona. Y'all know I'm dyslexic. And Dr. G said fifty dollars. Thank you guys so much. This conversation was had earlier. Still, Star Life said real men open doors. Real men open doors. See, I think I think there's nothing wrong with that as a standard. I, you know, every time I, saw, I try to sit here with with examples of things at times, right? So I had a guy that I dated one time before, and I was really big on that, like him opening the door. And for the most part, he honored it, but he ain't honor other things. <laughs> so he opened the door all the time, but he was honoring other things. And I mean, my man opens the door for me at times, but. Is it every time? Like if we go to the grocery store, I'm, I think I open my own door. Like I touch the door at times, um, but he's an amazing person. But I say, listen, I'm not here to challenge you on that standard. I know some women do not budge, do not budge. But I would say, I would say judge a person by a lot of things, right? There's a lot of things that have to be judged for. Like I remember, I still think about the guests who, canceled this guy out that I thought was good, but because he didn't go to church, but the more he was getting to know her, it was like, you know, she was changing his perception. But because she had that, I'm like, girl, just date. Maybe, you know, maybe God sent him to you so you could show him a different way of church. But she had a no, I can't even give him a shot. So I don't know. I don't know. I think I think you have to rate people when more than one thing. Um, all right, I would like to get a guy if we have a guy. Okay, do we have a guy? Thomas, Thomas, you're a guy, right? Show me the room. I know I got a lot of ladies, but I gotta try to get a guy up in here. I gotta, I, I'm, I'm gonna come to you ladies, but we gotta get some men. Hello? Hello, you hear me? Yes. How you doing, Kendra? Hey, what's your name? Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, where are you calling me from? Los Angeles, California. Oh, LA. What part of LA you live in? 
Um, Northridge. So it's like the valley side of it. Oh, okay. Thomas, yeah. how old are you? 32. 32. What you do for a living? <laughs> I work uh, executive protection. So it's like security for rich people. For security for rich people? Yeah, executive protection. So it's called executive protection? Mm hmm Okay. Um, executive protection. Do you have any children? Nope. No kids? Um, and you're 32. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer. All right. So we got Thomas LA, 32 cancer, executive protection, no kids. What kind of woman are you looking for? <sighs> Dang. You know what? I knew it before you asked me the question. Then now that you asked me, my brain kind of froze for a second. But, um, not to want like a normal woman, you know what I mean? Somebody that's simple, somebody that's loving, that's affectionate. Somebody that has a good understanding of reality. Um, somebody that's good with communication. Uh, someone that's comfortable within themselves. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Really bad attitudes. I don't really like really bad attitudes. Somebody that's negative a lot of times. Um, I think that's... Not too much. All right. If you have, I'm sorry to say this. Oh my God. If you have more than two kids, I can't do it. Can't do it. You have no kids, right? Yeah, no kids. Why are you sorry to say it? Because, you know, like, I feel like even women with two kids can be amazing women, but it's just the 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 other, you know what I mean? Dealing with the children, that could still be a problem. Dealing with the kid's father could be a problem. And then you know, with my pockets, I'm probably good enough for one kid. <laughs> so with two kids, I'm probably good enough for that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay. But do you prefer women with no kids because you have no kids? I lean towards one. I could I could say I one. one I prefer, I, I, I'll say that, yeah. I prefer no kids, but I, I'll push the one. Do you want your own children? Yes. Okay. All right. Should she look a certain way? Um... I like them thick, also in shape. Um, not not too heavy, but nice, nice curvy size woman. That's all. Not too tall either, because I'm five foot eleven. So if she can't be. If she's too tall, then she not obviously she not gonna want me. So other than that, anything well, under that. Six feet. You're only one inch away from six feet. Yeah, but she go like I like women in heels, and if she wear heels, she go look like you know what I mean. So. Okay, so not too tall. So what, like five five? But that's too tall. Five, 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 I mean, she could be five foot eight. You know what I mean? That's cool with me. Okay, all right. What about money? She gotta make a certain amount of money. No, no, no. I'm a gentleman at heart. Like she can, she don't have to work. She don't have to work that much. Like I work very, very hard. Oh, so you the provider the ladies be talking about? <laughs> you just yeah, you I mean. Work. She don't have to work much. Like, I don't mind a woman working part-time because I don't want you at home just doing nothing because I've done that before. I've taken care of a woman and she was just home and I was working all the time, but she was bored and she wanted my attention. But it's hard for me to give you my attention if I'm always at work because I have to provide for both of us. So that was kind of a problem that we had with that. So I'd rather she work at least part-time, at least, you know what I mean? So we could save up something. Fair enough. All right, let's do the Kendra Cam. All right. Yeah. Oh, we seem pretty good. Okay. Something we see me. you. Oh, we got to see your legs, but you want to bring it? I think that's fine because you told us your height. So we yeah. yeah. Um, when was your last relationship? Um, was it November? November. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? No comment. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws. Um, I gotta work on my communication. Um, I gotta work on my patience, and I gotta work out more too. I ain't been working out much, so I gotta get back on that. Yeah. Okay. And why would a woman be lucky to be with you, Thomas? Um, let's see. I think I know what a woman wants. I think it's very, very simple. It's not really complicated. It's just the fact that sometimes circumstances can be an issue. Circumstances can cloud your judgment. 
I know women want somebody to communicate. They want somebody to listen. They want somebody to support them, provide for them, be there for them. You know, and I think I understand that. It's the fact that for men, you have to find somebody that makes you want to do that. A lot of times guys just want to do whatever and have fun, but they just want company. They don't want to find a woman that's compatible with them that allows them to want to do that. It's not a need. It's a want. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So you ready to be all in? Yeah, I'm 32, Kendra. I'm 32 years old. I ain't got no kids. I oh, man, look, I ain't getting no younger at this point. So, I mean, I'm tired of playing around. Now, at this point, it's like you got to just find somebody that, that's a good match and start life, man. I feel life is like, okay, but you live in the land of beauty. Is it hard to find a woman in L.A.? <laughs> yeah, if you're not a celebrity for the most part. I mean, not really. Honestly, it's not a problem finding a woman. It's a lot of times... Go back to the preference thing. I like women with no kids most of the time, but a lot of women I keep finding have kids already. And I'm from Miami, but I live in LA. So I understand like the kind of women. The women on the West Coast, they got a certain kind of mentality. Women in the South have a different type of mentality. So I'm still adjusting to this LA lifestyle. And I'm trying to get a good understanding, but it's not that easy trying to find, you know what I mean, somebody that's compatible with you. No, that is true. You find someone that's compatible, you are. A bless somebody. Someone said, Alicia said, I'm interested. I'm 30. I live in LA. I also got a BA in Northridge. What qualities make him a husband sustain a healthy relationship? To sustain a healthy relationship. What co what qualities make him? Well, first of all, shoot your shot, Alicia. She done spent <laughs> five dollars to ask this question. Let me read it again, girl. Alicia said, listen, you playing. I ain't playing games. You ain't playing games. Let me read it to you again. <laughs> I'm interested. I'm 30 and I live in LA. I also got my BA in Northridge. What qualities make him a husband to sustain a healthy relationship? Again, I'm keep saying the communication, um, understanding each other, learning each other flaws, negatives and positive, because we all got them, and being comfortable with who you're with. That's it. Just knowing what to accept. If it's some things that you don't like about me, I would try to adjust it. But at the end of the day, it's who I am. It makes me who I am. So you got to either accept that or not. Some people may accept it. Some people don't. But it's really that simple. It's not that complicated. Not that complicated. Let's do it. Did I ask you why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Yeah, you asked me. All right, well, let's do it then. We got it all. Thomas, LA, or should she be in LA? You say you don't care? No, I travel. I travel. I got a passport and everything, so I don't have a problem with that. Okay. No kids, executive protection, 32, cancer. All right, Thomas, how could the woman reach out to you? Uh, my Instagram um, is at Mr. F A I R E L L. Okay, one more time. Mr. F A I R E L L. And there you have it. All right, baby. Thank you, Kendra. You are beautiful. I appreciate you. You, so you are beautiful. Yes, ma'am. I, I respect that. Thank you, sweetheart. Keep me posted how it goes, honey. Yes, ma'am. Right. Gotcha. All right. Um, I'm going to address a couple of things before I go to the next person. I saw some of the comments. Um, I'm not even going to talk about the gay comment because whatever. Y'all always, a man who ain't been to jail, who don't got 17 kids, who ain't got a teardrop on his face. Y'all call it gay. So that's your own, that's your own lack of being around black men that <laughs> uh, I actually feel bad for you. I actually feel bad for you that every time you see a black man who ain't got some type of madness to his life that be clean cut, the first thing you think of is gay. So it's it's really a sad thing for you, but that's on you. The hair, I saw that a lot. Um I don't understand how anybody. I'm over here wearing a wig myself. And I'm quite sure 90% of my audience women either wear a wig or some makeup. And how y'all want to spend time to ask somebody else about that. Now, I get so irritated when men tell y'all they want a natural woman. What? Why should you care? And then all of a sudden a man comes up here. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was real or not. I actually do not care, to be honest with you. I do not care if it was. It doesn't make him, to me, less of anything. If women have the opportunity 
to make their attraction better in any way, I'm actually fine with men doing it as well, too, because you're going to be judged. Man, come up here with Mr. Two, y'all judging them, get your teeth fixed. Man, come up here, bald head, y'all judging them. So I don't know. It could have really honestly been his hair. But I don't ask women when y'all want me to ask. I don't ask them if they wear wigs. I don't know. I just think, listen, I say this all the time. The energy you try to project is the energy that you get back. So take that however you want to take it. The energy you put out will be the energy you get back. It's called karma. It is hands down what it's always going to be. So if it is your goal to always try to break down somebody, don't be surprised when that energy is being returned. All right, let's just keep going. Um, people, Antoine Crown said, people worrying about the wrong things. He sounds like a good guy. He was a great guy. He's 32, ain't had no kids. Want to build a life with somebody? I don't know. I guess he need to go to jail. Um, Shay said, this top flight security brother is not gay, ladies. That's why a lot of y'all asses are single too. Superficial. Listen, I don't know. I, I apologize, Thomas. Go do five years in jail and prison and then call me back. And then apparently the ladies will like you then. I guess you was just, I guess you got to get, or have a child that you don't want to raise. So go to prison, have a baby you don't want to raise, then come back on my show and all the ladies will like you, I guess. I, 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 I guess, I guess you were, you, you were missing the toxic package that they're used to. I apologize. You were too untoxic for the women to appreciate. So they had to find something. So just go to jail for five years, have a baby, don't raise the baby, come back, and 2,000 women gonna want you. Would that be better, ladies? Is that what you want? Okay, let's keep going. Um, I got a lot of women. The, um, well, let me try her because she been there first. Ruth, Ruth, show me the room, Ruth, because you, you at top. Show me the room, Ruth. You gotta show me the room, Ruth, before I get you. Turn it around, you gotta turn the camera around. Turn it off. I got to see the other side of the room. Show me the other side of the room. Okay. Oh, Anybody? my God. You, oh, my God. Hi. Oh, my God. I swear to God. And I, I heard you saying Ruth. And I was like, is she talking to me? Is she talking to me? I'm, I'm talking to you. <laughs> The funny thing is, this is my first time on your show. A friend of mine told me about your show at work on Friday. And he was like, have you been on, have you seen the Kendra G show? I'm like, no. And he's like, you got to go on it. It's so nice. I mean, you, and I'm like, mm. and then I started watching your show on Friday and Saturday and that's all i've been watching since yesterday and today <laughs> so you and you cousin welcome to the family cousin thank you no 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 get out of here right now thank you <laughs> i'm sorry <All> right. <laughs> gotta put the kids away you ready mama yes i am i'm i'm on i'm, I'm talking to somebody okay thank you I'll, when I'm done, I'll talk to you. I'm so sorry, my son. No, I mean you're showing that you're not a kid. You're not the kids. Not you're not to put the kids in their place. <laughs> a lot of men say you got to control your kids. Now you got control oh, of your kids. Thank you for being. I sent you a private message. I'm like, this is my first time out here. I hope you beat me. I was not expecting it. I am. I am livid. I'm so. I'm. I'm just gonna be quiet. <laughs> I love your, listen, I love your, um, I love your energy. I love it. I appreciate you so much. So let's go, let's get, let's get into it. Ruth, where are you calling me from, honey? I'm calling you from Minnesota. Oh, I, all right, hold on. I, I done called Siri by accident. Now Siri on my phone trying to talk. Siri, I'm not talking to you. Stop, Siri. Huh, I did something. <laughs> my phone stopped. Okay. Oh my God, Siri, stop. I'm not talking to you. Oh my, okay, there we go. All right, here we go. All right, 
Where are you calling me from, baby? I'm calling you from Minnesota. I'm calling from Minnesota. Minnesota. Yes. Okay, how old are you, love? I'll be 44 in July, on the 4th of July. For the, oh, okay, so that's a cancer? Yes. Okay. I saw you. That was a son you have, right? Yeah, I have a, I have an eight-year-old son. Eight-year-old son. Have you ever been married? Yes, I was married for almost 14 years, been divorced three. Okay, three years. Um, and what you do for a living, Ruth? I'm a tech, uh, technician at Abbott Laboratory. Um, technician at Apple? No, Abbott Laboratory, A-B-B-O-T-T. -T. Oh, Abbott Laboratory, okay. Yeah. So I just put technician. We got Ruth, Minnesota, cancer, 44. Um, mom to an eight-year-old was married. Um, when did you get divorced? Three years ago, going full. Three years ago, officially divorced. Yes. Okay. She's a technician, and um, let's do it. Um, yes, cancer forty four. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Um, traditional, someone honest, um, someone who is hardworking like me. Um. Uh, Someone who's not going to uh, see my son as a stepchild, but a child like his own. Um, someone who see me and my son as a package, not I want you, but not your kid, you know. So, yeah, okay. someone traditional, someone with a good head on the shoulder. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Smoker. Anything that you smoke, weed, cigarette, none of it. I have a son. I don't want him seeing anything like that. Um, someone who do not know how to communicate. Uh, that is it. It's just, I'm a, I'm a kind of person who likes to talk. I'm a very lively, open person. So I like to have someone that I can talk to, you know, someone that we can share and have a good communication. Yeah, and someone who's not family oriented. It's just okay. uh, someone who put their mom, their family first, or not first, but who cater to their family, who their family means a lot to them. It tells me who you are because I'm okay. a family oriented person. I'm from Africa. So my mom, my dad, my siblings, they mean a lot to me. So I want someone who sees their family as that too. So if you don't have that kind of morals where your family mean a lot to you, ah, we can't get along. Okay. Where are you from originally, Ruth? We can hear an accent. Uh, I'm from Liberia originally. My mom is from Ivory Coast. My dad is from Liberia, but my mom settled in Liberia and she met my dad and they had uh, four kids. I'm the last of four. You're the last of four. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got Ruth, technician, uh, Minnesota, 44 cancer, eight-year-old um, child. Does the guy have to look a certain way? Not really. Uh, he should be a little taller than me. I'm uh, five, six. So they were you can, I'm okay. five, six. So you can be five, six. You can be five, seven. You should just be a little taller than me. I don't want to be taller than you, but I don't care about height, really. Okay. They want to know, why did you get a divorce? Uh, I moved here nine years ago. And while I was here, the plan was because uh, I got pregnant from my daughter. And I had, uh, she was born with sickle cell, so she died in Africa. So when I had got pregnant with my son, I decided to move here because there's more treatment here. And we moved here. While I was here trying to get my husband here, he had already had two kids on me. So I couldn't Wait, do anything you else. Got, so you and your husband moved from Africa? No, he's he left in Africa. I moved here because I got pregnant with my second. My first child died at five months from sickle cell. Okay. So when I got pregnant with my son, uh, I decided to move to the U.S. and relocate because I knew uh, me and him having kids, our kids was going to be born with sickle cell. And we don't have the treatment in Africa like in Liberia. Okay. So I relocated here because I was working with the United Nations. So I had the opportunity to relocate. 
So I relocated yeah. here and Oh no. Her phone died. Uh oh, it's Ruth. Not sure what happened. Not sure what happened. You know, I think this was a, let me see. Ruth, I'll bring you back if you come back in. Um, but you know, she actually enlightened me on something I never thought about. You know, we take a lot of things in America for granted, but we really do have a lot of resources that other countries don't have. And, you know, she really humanized for me the desire why so many people in Africa do want to come to America just for the simple fact that, you know, her first child couldn't make it because where she lived, they didn't have the resources. So I think we're so fortunate in America at times, we really take things that other countries value so much for granted. Well, listen, Ruth, if you could get back on, I'll bring you back on, honey. I'm not sure what happened. In the meantime, like um, Tisha, Tishkeisha, show me the whole room, Tishkeisha. Tish, Tish, you gotta show me the whole room in order for me to pick you. Show me the room, show me around. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Oh. Yeah. Really? Okay, you have more light, baby? Sorry? You have more lights? Uh, not really. Okay. Cool. Give me you some light. light. Is that better? Girl, I didn't do shit. Let me see. Maybe it's just my ring light. Let me see. Um, I could work with it, but better light in your face. Wait, get, my, more. get the light from my room. That doesn't work. I already tried. Get the light from my room. Sorry. All right. What's your name, honey? My name's Tashika. Tashika is how you say it. Tashika, where are you calling us from? Um, I live in Edmonton in Canada, in Alberta. In Canada. Okay. How old are you, Tashika? I'm 35. 35. What do you do for a living? I'm a kindergarten teacher. A kindergarten teacher? Yeah. That works. Kindergarten teacher. You see the light? Oh. You have uh um, you have any kids? No kids. No kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. So Tashika. I'm trying to be centered. Yes. Tashika, Canada, 35, Sagittarius. Um, kindergarten teacher. No kids. What kind of man are you looking for, love? Okay, I made a list. Okay, I'm looking for someone who's a good communicator, honest, good with money management, funny is probably like my top three. I need somebody who's really funny. Um, open to new things, whether it's food, traveling, confident, genuine. We're good. We're good. This is good. We're good. And um, thoughtful, kind, someone I can banter with because sometimes I tend to talk a little bit of shit. So I like somebody that can, uh, not like bad shit, but you know, like sometimes I make little jokes or corny jokes, like just somebody who will understand that side of me. Okay. I'm only... That's it? Oh, romantic, spontaneous, assertive. And yeah, that's good. Thoughtful also, I added. Okay, what are your deal breakers? They're telling me to tell you to cover up. Are you not covered up? It's dark for me. Okay. What do you mean up? Okay. Huh? Well, I sure. guess she, she didn't think nothing was wrong with it. Uh, what are your deal breakers? <laughs> oh, my deal breaker is I hate liars. I can't do liars. Don't lie to me. Bad breath. Bad teeth. Laziness. Um, someone who smokes cigarettes. And anybody who's any man that's going through a divorce. Okay, be officially divorced already. Yeah, you have to be divorced. Okay. Should he look a certain way? Um, not necessarily. He just needs to be. I I would prefer that he's black, but I'm I'm open to date any race. As long as he treats me good, I just need a good man. So he's a good man. Okay. Should he make a certain amount of money? 
Um, I would like him to make like 80K and up. 80K and up. Should he be in Canada? No. He could be anywhere. I will leave. <laughs> have, you, have, right you lived anywhere outside of, have you lived outside anywhere outside of Canada? Well, I'm originally from Toronto, so I moved from Toronto to Edmonton, which is like 3,000 kilometers away, but I've always lived in Canada. Is there a country in particular you would like to go to? Mm, I want to go to Africa. I want to go to Ghana. Okay. <laughs> so you would like a man in Ghana? Sure. I, honestly, I'm open to wherever. I like traveling. I don't mind long distance relationships, but it does, if, for me, if I'm in a long distance relationship, it has to be temporary. I feel like it could last for about a year. And then after a year, we have to decide whether I'm moving or you're moving. Okay, got you. But she wants to relocate, okay. Um, and money, you said, you gotta make a certain amount of money? 80, 80K. We did that. That's right. Now it's time for the Kendra Cam. What'd you say? <laughs> they want to know which Caribbean island you're from. Oh, what do you have on? Are you want? I mean, you don't got to show it again if you want to. Shorts. Oh, okay. I like you're in good shape. Thank you. Um, my Caribbean oh, background get, is people. They get mad when I say like you're in good shape. It's so much oh. small. So I have to say you look small. Thank you. Uh, my Caribbean background, I'm Jamaican and Vincentian. So St. Vincent. Okay. Shay said, where is she from? Jamaican. She's from Jamaica. Um, Common 80 said, I think she would be great for me because I'm a missile launcher technician who holds a top secret security clearance from the military. Retire now. We would have a lot to talk about. That's great. Sounds great. <laughs> oh, he didn't seem too impressed. He didn't give you his whole um, his whole resume. You didn't seem too amazed by it. That sounded good. Just when I give my information slide, we can have conversation. I need to know more. Like that sounds great, Ooh, but I also need to, to know, know more. more. Sorry, I need to she know your personality. I need to make sure that we mesh and that it makes sense. Okay. But the resume. Okay, so Great. Ooh, child, you just spent ten dollars to this side. She said, "Okay." All right. When was the last relationship? Oh God, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Um, mm -hmm. you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? December. Oh, they're saying okay. I'm about to take that back. They're saying that comment might have been for the last lady. Oh, that's fine. Okay. All right. You said, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? December. December. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Uh, I wrote, I can be stubborn. Sometimes I can be a little too trusting. And then also similar to what the other lady saying when she was talking about being super independent, I tend not to lean on people when I need help. I just, I just try to figure it out myself. It's just something that my dad always taught me to just always depend on yourself. But I do want to be able to lean on somebody and, you know, when I'm going through stuff, talk to them about it, see if they can give me any advice that can help with whatever situation I'm going through. Okay. Um, those are your three flaws? Mm-hmm. Okay. The hen day 07, this is for me. The Hende 07 said, Kendra, you thought she wanted to come to America. Trust me, Kendra, not everybody wants to come to America. I'm a black Canadian and we good over here. This could be true and you are right. She does not want to come to America, but 99% of the people who are not in this country that call my show do want to come to America. So I don't think everybody wants to come to America, but nine <laughs> times out of 10, if you are not in this country calling me, you want to come to this country. So um, yes, it was a fair assumption because usually that is the truth. But in her case, it was not. So she's that one out of the nine people that was. <laughs> All right. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you, honey? 
um, you'd be lucky to be with me because I'm caring, I'm loving, I'm nurturing, I'm supportive. Like when I'm about you, I'm 100% about you. Um, what else? I'm fun. I'm funny. Um, I'm active. I'm spontaneous. As much as I want somebody that's romantic, I also want to be romantic to my partner too. I don't want it to be one-sided. I want it to be like reciprocated. Um, I'm God-fearing. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. And you have no kids. You want kids. I want kids. I don't have any. And the guy can't have kids, you said? He can. He can. Okay. Um, and let's do it. She wants to leave the country. Ghana is her preference. Um, I don't want to say it wrong. Tashika? Yeah. I didn't say I want to leave the country. I said I don't mind. Like, I'm open. Oh, so, okay. So you could be happy yeah. in Canada. No, no. I'll be happy here. Someone's here. Great. But I'm okay. just saying I'm open. If he's in the States, if he's somewhere else, that's fine with me. Okay. She's 35. What was the age range you would date? Uh, 30 to 45. 30 to 45. 30 to 45. Okay. And she's a teacher. Let's do it. How could the guy reach out to you, boo? My Instagram? Uh, it's that queen Tashika. That queen oh. Tashika. All right, yeah. baby. Yeah. That yeah. queen Tashika. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep me posted how it goes. All right. Thank you. You're fun. welcome. Bye, baby. Bye. Bye. All right, um, Fran Dash, Fran Dash, Fran Dash. I've seen a couple of people out, so I can confirm it. Hello? She told me you! Yes. Who is that? Who is that in the background? <laughs> That's my friend from Brazil. <laughs> Baby! Hey. What is up? Hey. <laughs> What's going on, baby? <laughs> oh, y'all got it on the TV in the background, too. Yes, let me turn that down. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I wait. love it. Sorry. I love it. Y'all see yourself on television? <laughs> yes, we were watching it. I had a party here for uh, one of my old employees, she got um, promoted. So we had a party and everybody was here. So my house is a mess, but, and my friends are here and I'm like, this is a, oh God, I've been watching you since 2020, um, on and off, but uh, <laughs> he's acting up. But um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm so nervous now, I don't know why. I'm not typically nervous. I love it, well let's start, let's start. I appreciate the support. Is your name Fran? It is. Fran, where are you calling me from? Um, Port Orchard, Washington. So about uh, 50 miles uh, outside of Seattle. Okay, so I'll say outside Seattle. How old are you, Fran? I am 51. 51, what you do for a living? I work in government. So I'm a civil service and prior Navy. Okay. Fran, outside of Seattle, 51 government. You have any kids? I do. I have two sons, 27 and 20, and um, a grandson that I also take care of, um, and he's nine. So he lives with me, but he has both parents, but stability. Okay. He's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, he lives with you. Um, your sons, are they about the same man? They are. My ex-husband. My ex-husband. Okay. When did I get divorced? 2021. Okay. All right. And Fran, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're glad he was a Sagittarius. We got Fran. She lives outside of Seattle, works for the government. Sagittarius 51, mom to two, 27 and 20. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Girl, I <laughs> I know I've been watching you too long. Right, um, my family is going to be so <laughs> going to not believe that I'm on here, but anyway, um, confident. Uh, uh, Lord, uh, I did not know that I was going to be. I hear people say it all the time. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I thought with my friends being here, I would be a little bit. 
Okay, 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 sorry. And now I'm sweating, I don't know why. Okay, so loving, caring, kind, um, loyal, um, uh, confident, vulnerable, strong, um, <sighs> Brazil. Uh, very um, independent, um, a good man, basically, one that understands that uh, a woman uh, needs a man, um, not only want a man, <laughs> right? Um, I'm pretty okay. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, a man by my side can be bad. Okay. When did you get divorced again? In what year? 21, June. Oh, okay. So how many years were you married for? Okay. So see, I know I should have calculated that. So let me explain. <laughs> so we were uh, separated since 2011. Um, he... We both came to uh, Washington State. He was Army and uh, in 08. And then we separated in 2010, 2011, beginning of 2011. And so we stayed married for a few different reasons, um, but we're really good friends. And so when it was time for me to be like, look, you know, you need to move on with your life. It doesn't make sense being on paper. I needed to buy a house without a man being attached to it and I couldn't do it being married to him anymore either. So um, we finally, I finally went in and fill out the paperwork. We both went down there um, during the pandemic because I heard someone saying that courts weren't open during the pandemic. They were because I, I went down with my mask and all. And uh, June, February 2021, and June 2021, it was finalized. Okay. So we were married uh, for a long time. <laughs> but, so, but you were separated, it seems like, for a long time. Very long time, yeah. Okay. But we're co-grandparents. We do that very well. Um, basketball games, you know, um, everything. We get along very well. He has his life. And when he retired, believe it or not, he moved back to Washington so he could be closer to his children and grandchild, so. Okay. Yeah. Common Man 80 said, I know where she lives. I, I was stationed at Fort Lewis, Washington. I know the naval base she was stationed at. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. So uh, JBLM, that's where I went to. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. So did I ask you your deal breakers? Oh, uh, no, you did not. So. <laughs> Um, so a man, okay, men are so, uh, it's so hard to uh, figure out whether or not uh, a short man is good enough. And let me say this, I understand a short man may be my man. Okay, Zach, I, I know that. However, they have issues, you know what I mean? Um, I've tried dated short men. And at the time, of course, I wasn't serious. I was still married, whatever. But um, just trying to get to know a short man is very, they make it difficult because they're like, I'm 5'8", okay? I'm not a short woman and I'm not a small woman, but I'm not, right? And they, <laughs> shut up. But um, if I have heels on and he's 5'8", he's like, you're trying to look taller than me? Come on now. If you're standing on six inches, you're now six two if you're five eight, right? So to me, you should be able to be confident with the fact that you are my height or an inch or two less. Be confident. That's all I'm looking for. So deal breaker. Men that are not confident. Um, men that expect. I try to date someone that was um, make less than me. I tried that. And within three weeks, his mom was dead and he needed money and he needed a ticket. <laughs> uh, yeah, seriously. Um, it's crazy out here, Kendra. And, um, he lied uh, on his I, mother and said his mother died or did she really die? I don't, I don't know if she died or not. I never met the lady. I just started dating him and, you know, 
all of a sudden I'm babe and he loves me and the love bombing and you know, um, so a man that makes less than me, and it's kind of hard to say that. Let me say that. Let me let me take that back. So I pay my own bills, right? If I have a man and I'm looking to be married again that uh, can pay for, I'm not saying half because I'm not used to a man only paying half, but taking care of the household bills, right? If something should happen, I got him. If something should happen with me, he's got me. What does that look like financially? I have no idea. You know, my ex-husband, even now, you know, if I call him and I'm like, hey, you know, Daniel, my grandson, is going into peewee, whatever, then he'll be like, okay, how much is it? And he'll give me, if it's my man, then he'll be like, hey, I got you. That's all I'm asking for. I don't know what that money looks like, Kendra. So I'm not going to say he needs to make what I make. And I'm not going to say he needs to make less or more. So that's a deal breaker if he's all caught up with asking me for money or looking at what I make or where I live or what I have. That's a problem for me. Um, a man who has never driven a brand new car. <laughs> Period. Period. I'm sorry. I know. I know you. <laughs> wait a you... minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have to make sure I understand. So a man that's never driven a like a like a 2024, the year the car came out. Tell me, tell me, okay, give me the reason behind that one. Typically, when a man only buys a used car, he doesn't know the value of taking care of something that's brand new or keeping up. They treat they treat their cars like they treat their women. And I find that to be true, right? So a used car, then you're thinking of a used woman. And I don't want a man that doesn't understand <laughs> that a, I am a new car. Right? That's the best way to, to think about it, right? Um, treat me good, right? Um, my oils must be tapped off when they need to be tapped off. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else to say it, but um, yeah. Fran, what kind of car do you drive? I love my Hondas. So I've got a passport, a 2023 passport. And my son has my old car, which is a, a, a Accord. Um, okay. Yeah. A okay, Accord. so just have a new car. Or have, no, or, I just, just have, I have to, I, and it needed to it be new when you, when you brought it. It needed to be new. Like if he got it in 2022, but it was new, does that qualify? Yeah. Even if it, it, he has to have the opportunity to actually have purchased a new car to know what the, you know, or lease, because with a lease, I'm telling you, you have to keep that up. So um, he just has to know the value of something new, right? Everything can be used. Cause then okay, let me read this he, to you. Six figure Pookie says twenty dollars to say this. You have a good spirit, but you come across very immature for someone who is fifty. Seem likely you don't know what you want. Keep looking to your friends for answers and make it stupid comments. It's a turn off. Oh, I'm glad I turned you off because I'm not interested in you. I've heard your comments all this time. So I'm glad I turned you off, Solly. I don't want you. Um, so thanks for the $20. Uh, pay Kendra some more. Ask another question. Now, let me say this. Immature. Great. Uh, there's a reason I stayed single for so long. Because I've dated. But at the end of the day, I'm looking for the man that's for me. One, that's chivalrous. That's one. You don't seem like the type. Two. One that has ever, what you, what is his name? Millionaire, billionaire, never seen. Oh, what, what six, six figures? Never yeah. seen that. Yeah, six, a, a six figure pookie. Say he, never six saw figures, that. he never saw that, darling. He doesn't know what that is. Okay. Um, whatever. Let's move on. Um, I've paid to make my own comments and it's never in a way to disrespect or put down anybody. Um, Pay another twenty dollars, darling, if you want to talk to me, but it's okay. Um, okay. I want to ask this friend. You say you don't have a money requirement. 
But I think you might have a minimum. I can't see you dating a man that made 50K. <laughs> um, you're right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I've tried. I've tried, like literally tried. And um, it. I, I got kind of turned off from a conversation and I felt like if that person was going to ask their mom for money and be mad about not paying their money, the money back to their mom on time. Um, eventually they'll ask me for money as well. Um, so that was a friend zone right away. And that person made about $60,000, $70,000 um, a year. So I travel a lot. Um, I just came back from Nigeria this past uh, December. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know what that money looks like though, Kendra. I don't. No, I understand. Hey, babe. Oh, who's out there? Okay, no, no worries, no worries. We're gonna keep. But going. Kendra, yeah. can I say one thing to you? Um, this is just from observing, right? Nothing to do with me, but more to do with you. A lot of times, I see you do this, and I know you're screwing in your earring, the back of your earring, right? You're like yeah. making sure it doesn't fall off. Um, they do have a, uh, a clip. <laughs> no, I just don't want you to lose it. They do have a clip and it goes in and clips so that you don't have to worry about it coming off and it never comes well, off. Okay. Unless you take it off. There, well, the thing is they're diamond earrings. So it has, screw yeah, back. So yeah, like, you can like remove it. Back. I like the uh, screw backs because they're very expensive. So sometimes I just do that, but sometimes I'm, I don't know if I'm doing that or if I'm scratching my wig, child. It could be a couple of things I'm doing in this area. Oh, I, I think I'd be yeah, scratching my but, wig more. but mine are diamonds as well, and I had them replaced from the screw back. I used to work at Jared's years ago, and okay. that's why I know. So I'm just looking out for you because the screw back can okay, screw without you knowing it. I agree. I gotta go, but let's go to the end. No, where Sorry. are we at? Do we do? We do the Kendrick cam yet? Do the Kendrick cam. How do <laughs> Okay, you look good, girl. Thank you. Um, I'm not. When was your last relationship, babe? Uh, I, I wouldn't say there was any other relationships other than my ex because uh, I dated a lot and um, I didn't screw around. So I love you, baby. Have a good day. Um, they're leaving. Uh, so um, relationship or situationships, I don't have those. Um, I date and if I don't like you, then we move on. But again, I've only been divorced since 2021. So I've been working so hard trying to do what I need to do for me and my family that I haven't had time. So okay, a real relationship. You have the answer, not you don't you have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When was the last time he was intimate with someone? Ah, uh, Jesus. Uh, June 2022. Oh, okay. Three flaws you have to work on, friend. Girl, I'm bossy. Um, definitely um, a type personality. Um, I am assertive. Uh, those can be considered to be um, negative by some. Uh, as far as a relationship goes, I, I own my own part in my divorce. Um, so I've worked on myself. I've gone to therapy. The VA takes care of me very well. So I have that income coming in too. So, ooh. Um, I am um, not money driven. Do you, you, you want to do you want to No, 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 no. I'm just okay. saying I take very good care of myself. And so therefore the man that comes in must understand that what he's coming into is a new car. So he can't just be like treat me like anything, right? Um but at Wait, the end of the day, you have you ever been in a man that makes the income that you desire? Yes. What happened to that guy? Uh <laughs> he was a he was an ass, uh, the best way to put he it. Was a what? Um, an ass, A-S-S. -S. He, oh, an ass. Um, okay. yes. He, 
well, the last one that I dated, the only, the only one that I can even think of the possibility that we could have made it. He played a lot of games. Uh, <laughs> he claimed that he had just met his son the weekend we went out for the first time and his son was 29 years old. And oh my God, he's sitting there in front of me crying on the phone with some woman that found him after 29 years. It was just crazy. He just felt, it just felt rehearsed and coerced and uh, yeah. Um, okay, so he's not the one, he's not the one. All right, we got no. it. All right, mm -hmm. we got it. Brian, what's the age range you would date? You are 51. 42 to 55. You will go to 42? You'll go younger? I do. Okay, 42 to what? To 55. 55. I don't want me no old man. Let me let me say this, okay? I'm a young 51 year old, okay? I I I I have young friends, I've got old friends, I've got a, a, a variety of people around me. Um but I find that older men, when I date them, they they things don't work. Um and they have to take things. And I no. Okay. Fran, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um I'm supportive. Um, I'm stable. I'm honest. I'm direct. Uh, I'm loving, giving. Um, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> Can I say anything else? Uh, I, <laughs> um, I make the meanest jerk chicken there is. No lie. <laughs> uh, so I cook well. Now, I don't like cooking, <laughs> but I cook well. And um, I'm just a good woman. And I, I, my ex can tell you any, any of my exes prior to my husband can tell you we're still friends to this day. So I'm just a good person. So. And, you, and she's also a brand new car. You have to have at least driven a brand new car. If you ever want to date friend, let's do it. Um, should the guy be in Seattle? I thought about that, um, Kendra, and yes, I'm going to say yes. I, I, I don't understand when people say, oh, no, they, they can be anywhere. I, I'll travel. <laughs> I travel. I'm not coming to see no man. So, no, <laughs> um, I would rather them be in the Seattle area, Seattle, Tacoma, um, Wallop. Yeah. Okay. All right, friend. How can the guy reach out to you, honey? So my name on um, Facebook is Fran Dash, and um, my Instagram is it's Fran Dash, all one word. I T S, I T S, Fran Dash. Do you want any more questions? Go ahead, darling. Huh, six figure Pookie is back again. He said three reasons why a forty-two year old man would want to date you over a qualified 29 or 30 year olds a qualified number one i don't have baby daddy dramas um that's one two why am i answering these questions anyway uh, just you, because I you're mean, right you right i mean that's why i asked you before no. i um before um, I, oh okay but i will say this i've been we've got we're about to go but i think you offended a lot of people about the new car sentiment and this is from a girl this is from a girl alicia said billionaire warren buffett drove used cars in his wealth and never buys new cars he was married forever your man can have a wonderful qualities financially stable but have used cars well i've not met one yet um sorry <laughs> that's just my experience like i'm not trying to offend friend, anybody Listen, whether y'all like it or not, she is standing ten toes down, and I can respect that. I mean, whether whether we agree with it or not, I always respect a person that can stand by what they say. Um, Darnell Jones, I guess you are tapping on a lot of emotions. One person just just oh, did just say they love you. Um, thank you. Some of these go so fast I can't see them all, but um, I love her. I absolutely love her. Forever ninety says I love her. Um, Thank you. Logical Faith spent twenty dollars to say I make over six figures. I drive a 08 Camry. I work with a bunch of dudes who make between a hundred and two hundred k, who would never buy a brand new car. Well, okay. I mean, I got. I'm, I'm gonna defend okay. you in a second. 
If that's what she wants, guys, whether it is or not, it is what it is. It's okay. It is. It really is. Like, I'm just saying from my experience, and that's it. I'm not saying every car that I've ever purchased for myself, whether it be a lease or a full purchase, has been a new car. The men that I have dated, I noticed there's a different quality that comes with a man that has experience driving a new car versus one that has always purchased a used car. Warren Buffett, great for him. Warren Buffett also stated he's not leaving anything for his kids or grandkids either. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody has whatever their requirements in life is, right? That's mine. It's okay. I'm sorry if I offended you, but I'm not sorry. Why do you think you're okay? Um, so Ryan reminded me, and I have asked this question in a long time. He said, Kendra, I missed the question. Why do you think you're single? It was very telling. Would you consider bringing it back? Why do you think you're single, Fran? Because I chose to. Because she chose Simple. to be single. Okay. I chose to. Okay. All right, well, Fran, we got to go. How now I don't want to be anymore. I don't want to be anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't want to be single anymore. That's why I'm here, Kendra. She's single, but now she's ready to be with somebody. Yeah. How could the guy reach so, out to you? Uh, it's Fran Dash, I T S F R A N D A S H on Instagram and my name, Fran Dash, on Facebook messaging. Okay. All right. Well, listen, you keep me posted how it goes, baby. All right. I will. Thank Bye, you, Kendra. Um, I do have to go, um, but Ruth, you came back. I want to get you real quick. Ruth? Oh, so, thank you. Sorry. I was so excited to see, I was so excited to be on your show. I was I not looking at my battery's level. I'm so sorry. Uh, no worries. We don't have that much time, though, because I do have to go. But um, yep. so you just tell us that you moved to America and the reason why. So you're officially divorced. What was the last question I asked you? Uh, you asked me why, uh, why, why, why did I get divorced? And I was telling oh, you yeah, that my right. okay, yeah, we that my ex had, huh? Oh, you said your ex husband got two girls pregnant. Yeah, got two other women pregnant, um, and there was baby in the process. I if it was just cheating, that was something that we could work on because we've been married long. But bringing babies into the marriage, that was something I just couldn't take. So oh, that's like, interesting. So you would have forgave him if he didn't get the women pregnant. Um, no. If if um, that's the thing for me, I I, I see it as the distance. Because of the distance, he was in Africa, I was here. So there's a possibility he was going to do something. I, I didn't expect to know it or see it, but I know being a man, there's a possibility he was going to have something to do. But I did not expect that he was going to do it where in kids get in the picture. So you, so I want to be clear, so you expect him to cheat as a man? No, I don't expect him to cheat. I don't want him to cheat, but I'm saying, it, it it was not something that was not I was not like out of my mind like okay he's not gonna do it I just feel like first of all he's an African man they feel like it's a normal thing for them being from West Africa it's it's wrong it's not something that is allowed I do not allow it but that is the that is the culture and the custom that we grew up around so it's something like you'd be like I know it will happen. I don't want it, but I know it was going to happen. But I did not expect babies in the process. Okay. All right. So um, when was your last relationship? Was it your husband? Uh, no. After my when divorce, I had a re after my divorce, I had a relationship that I lasted uh, for a year. And that's why I, I said I want someone who is family oriented because um, he had problem with me taking care of my uh, family, like me being around. My parents are old. My parents are 70 and 80. And I'm I, at that time, I was the only kid around them. All my brothers are in different state. I'm in Minnesota, they're here. So he had problem with me taking care of them, like going to them and helping them out when we are together. Like when he comes over to spend some time and my dad called me up and like, hey, can you get us some stuff and bring it over to the house? He had a problem with it. And it was like, 
These are my parents. Wait, what was the question? The question is, when's your last relationship? Yeah, I said about a year ago. Okay. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Uh, it's been a while. I can't remember, but it's been a while. Okay. Three flaws you have to work on. Uh, I'm too independent. Uh, I am very, um, I overthink everything. Um, and I think I love too hard. That is okay. things that I think I need to work on. Okay. And why would, um, a man be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm family oriented. I'm cultural. Um, oh, I'm gonna say this because everyone knows my boyfriend Nigerian. No, I don't agree that all African men cheat. They're like you're gonna cuss. I don't agree. No, with that. I know. Not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying all of them do it. I'm saying, being from West Africa, they grew up with that mentality. Not every African man do that. They have African men that are 100 committed, whether the women are around or not. They just we just grew up in that kind of certain. It doesn't mean they have to. Yes, yes. I was just reading some of the comments. Okay. Yeah. So, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Ruth? Did you give it to me? Um, like I said, I'm cultural one. I'm honest. I'm a hard worker. I'm decent. Um, I am. I can be elegant and sophisticated when the occasion calls for it. And I can get on the floor and change your tire when the location call for it. I'm I'm that woman. I have a son. So and I'm a single mother. So I have to teach him things that a dude is not around to teach him. So I can be very sophisticated when it's when it's called for. And I can be a tomboy when it's called for it. So I'm 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 just all around a good person. Do you want more kids? It depends. I'm not a hundred percent into it, but if I meet someone who gave me the reason to want to have another kid, I will, but I'm not looking to have another kid. Okay. She's not looking to have another kid. Um, all right. With that being said, let's do it. Ruth, how can the guy reach out to you? Um, my Facebook is Ruth Nush Topo, T O P O H, R U T H N U S H T O P O H. It's my Facebook. And my Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, is Ruth Slow 77. Ruth Snow 77. All right, Ruth. R U T H S L O 77. Yes. Say it again, honey. R U T H S L O 77. There you have it. All right, baby girl. Keep me posted how it goes. Thank you. All right. Thank All you right, for guys. having me back. Bye, baby. Oh, wait, real Bye. quick, Ruth. Did you do the Kendra can? No, I did not. Oh, okay, do the oh, okay. They reminded me. Do the Kendra can. <laughs> All right, one minute, please. I gotta put the uh I, and I'm sorry because I'm home. It's late in Minnesota, so I'm kind of like uh in a short I mean, short pants and... Okay, oh, you got a booty on you. Okay, Ruth. This is me. <laughs> there you have it. Okay. Yeah. All right, baby girl. Well, you keep me posted how it goes, honey. Thank you. Have a good night. You nice too. Bye. All right. All right, bye, cousins. I got to go. I will see y'all Monday night. I think Monday night. All right, we got to go. Bye, everyone. Have a good Saturday night.